Well, what's going on? I had to fix fix a voice thing earlier, but it wasn't too bad. Really, didn't take too long. Really. Come on, go back. There we go. Yeah. yeah, I love the stealth. So I wanted to play a tank, but that's why I like the uh, Nightblade, because he kind of works towards stealth and dual wielding. I like it a lot. Oh, we found another chest, Justin. Kind of sneak up on this guy. Kill him really fast coming out of stealth. Now, Jeremy, when you're, are you using a behind, uh, or a stealth attack, or are you using just a heavy attack hidden? Because it does a lot of damage to use a heavy attack hidden. Um, a stealth attack is better for me as a Nightblade. Because you're using an actual It's an actual attack. stealth attack. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Well, the different classes are Nightblade, Templar, Sorcerer, <clears throat> and Dragon Knight. And then he. <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. I'm sorry, my voice is messing up. I'm a Nightblade. We're both Nightblades, oh, but very different. Nightblades, but very different. Alright, there we go. And then each of those have skill trees. So I have an Assassination Tree, which is more about executions. Um and quick damage. Shadow, which of course from the name is working out of the shadows. And then siphoning, which is more like a debuff and um, siphoning Yahoo! health tree. Yeah. And tell them too, you and I we're so both night blades. We're both night blades, but our characters are very different. Yeah, and then he's a he's a night blade that uh, is more DPS. So he does bow and yeah. Bow and dual wielding. Prodigy, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that so much. That means a lot. Thank you for stopping by. Um, and then you have skills on your weapons as well. So I'm building up my one handed and shield, which gives me the tanking stance and skills I want. Passives and then my actives. And then I'm also leveling my dual wielding, which is for my DPS side. So cause there's a quick weapon switch. So I can be tanking. And if I want to kill something real quick, just weapon swap to dual wielding. Go and visit if I need to, stab him real quick. Let's see, watch, I'll stab this guy. Out of stealth, and I just stun him. I can switch back to tanking. Yeah, I haven't picked this uh, second weapon yet. It's a nice smooth. Yeah, so you wear heavy. It armor. takes some finesse. Streaming, for some reason, it makes it a little more difficult. I don't know if it's because I'm. Losing a couple frames or what, but the lock picking is pretty fun. You can do it by sound and also sight. So if you have good headset, it helps a lot. What were you saying, Justin? Oh, I was just saying like you can completely build the same class very different ways. Like you wear heavy armor, I wear medium. You know, you can mix armors because some people like that uh, don't want to all be the same for class. It's just a good thing to point out. That you can just be like so different. Yep. Yeah, I'm heavy armor because I want to be a tank. It doesn't help my stealth quite as much. Medium is better for stealth. But it still works. Templar's great. I mean, all of them, they can do anything. You can make any of them a healer, you can make any of them a tank, any of them DPS. Some of them just might have different flavors of those. That's kind of the main difference. And I like the Nightblade tank flavor. Oh, you need to go upstairs. It's got the shield I can do, and then go in there. Start tanking stuff. Yeah, you need to go upstairs. I was looting everything. No, there's none of those uh, finishing slash kill moves like they had in Skyrim. People have talked about it on the forums, though. It'd be pretty awesome if they incorporated that. 
And then, yeah, Justin, they hear you on the stream, so anything you say, they hear. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I don't have to Good explain too much that you say. Good to know. That's why I use Skype, so it doesn't sound like I'm talking to myself when I'm playing with people. Yeah, Templars are great for self-healing. Everyone pretty much has some kind of self-heal. The Templar is the only one that has a dedicated uh, healing tree, though. So they can be really strong in, in healing. I went against the grain with my Templar. My Templar is more of a warrior medium armor wearer. <laughs> Too yeah. crazy person. Yeah, anyone can do anything. It's just they have that specific healing line. So yeah, you can definitely self-heal. Lockpick. Wow, someone got angry up here. Look at all these things. Oh, you know. Came up here earlier to let out some steam. Book stack. Make sure you read every book. Did you find one just now? You can get. Yeah, there's a stack of books up there. Because you can get skill ups from those. And yeah, I have a lifesteal. So on this one right here, this uh, strife. See? Deals magic damage and heals player. 25% of the damage. And then I'm working towards another one for my tanking right here. Drain power. It does an AoE drain, and I can morph it. It's where it steals health, too, from everything around me. It's pretty nice. Yeah, Templar's great for Pally. So here's my life steal thing right there. Oh, I my bags are full. I'm not gonna loot everything. Oh no, they're not. It's a disguise. Oh, no. Let's see, where do we go next? Collect puffball caps. This guy has no idea what's about to happen. <laughs> Here, get that guy. Alive one second, dead the next. Wow, he had two costumes on him. Oh no, it's because I'm AoE looting that guy. Like, how does that work? Yeah, um, they're actually adding in the Dark Brotherhood and the Thieves Guild stuff, so all that's coming. What and on the that? Crown Store, they already have costume pieces that are like the Thieves Guild and stuff. Have you heard? So of since one I'm that? a tank, I wear heavy armor, but you can equip costumes um, right here, and they're gonna be they're gonna have them in the uh, the Crown Store. Some really cool looking costumes. Have you a lot heard of heavy when, armor costumes? When Dark Brotherhood made Oh, what's that, just? Out? Have you heard when Dark Brotherhood? No, made just, okay. just soon. They're, they're working on that one pretty hard right now. Okay, let's go. I'll go right. I'll just do that. You need oak shield. Wait, or it's got health? a blue shield. Yeah. That is better. Where is it? Here, go ahead and open up a trade. I put it on. Oh, you have it. Put okay. it on. Go, I got it. Look at that acid boiling. <laughs> Great work. Now we have jewels for the ransom and puffball caps for the sleep potion. It's time to Yeah, charm. It's dude, it's a fun game, man. It had its issues when it launched, which is why I got some negative slack. Or flag. Well, like I was telling someone earlier, the population is growing 
fast. Everyone's starting to come back with all these changes and fixes they've done. The fact it's going by to play now. Um, and then all the new content they're adding. Like the justice system and all that. That'd be freaking sick, man. Be a telephone. They posted the, the controller UI too, so you can see what the controls will actually be like. And they, they look smooth. They look like they'll work really well. Because you have a limited number of skills here, so you can map this to a controller easy. Mm -hmm. Oh, poor crab. He had no idea what was going on. Yeah, so justice system is they're adding in where you can now pickpocket, murder, um, any NPC. You can break into houses now, break into their personal chests, like all that stuff. So basically anything you do in Elder Scrolls before, they're actually putting that in the game now. So it makes it much more Elder Scrolls-ish. And then they have a bounty system built in. So if you're seen or a guard sees you or something, they actually put a bounty on your head. Um, and you can either choose to pay the bounty and they take everything you stole or um, try to run but the guards will kill you real fast they're, they're pretty they're pretty tough um, and they're, they've added fences and areas to the to the game now so you can sell your stolen wares that's part of the justice system the champion system is when you hit um, cap you can continue earning what they call champion point experience and it gives you skill points to spend on any of your guys on your account. So even guys, like level 1 guys, they'll get extra uh, skill points to put into stats. Like extra crit or extra healing, all that kind of stuff. So it gives you a reason to keep playing your high level guy. Other than running raids and dungeons, stuff like that. Ton and ton of good stuff. All that's coming in this this game uh, next week. Oh, you're getting it. <laughs> Did it count for you? Or? Yep. No, I still need it. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome, Charm. It's gonna be sick. They're completely making it what it should have been in the first place. I think it kind of got rushed out on the PC, honestly. I think for the last year we've been beta testing it. <laughs> so they could do a, a proper launch on the consoles and for the PC. for PvP? Um, no, it's not too bad. I mean, anyone can do it on the champion points, if that's what you're talking about. Plus, they have different PvP campaigns, so they have some set for people that aren't max level, some that are max level, just to help balance it out. I'm Lady Miranda Stewart. Who are you? And what Dude, do you this want guy here? is really dirty on his forehead. Just yeah, he is. <laughs> 
Like he's been wearing a headband or something that needs to be washed. Oh, no. not a captive of the Midnight Union. They're her bodyguards. Oh, I bet it is. That's where you're. That's where you're watching from. Yeah, that is a pain in the butt, man. I wish they had the chat pad like they have in the 360. I had one of those. That thing was a lifesaver. You could just, if you have Smart Glass, um, it'll let you type from Smart Glass into the Twitch app. Probably, but she's still protected by the Midnight Union. Puffball caps. Oh, you fool! See, so Justin, I still need to learn potion. persuade. It's poison. Yeah. I ordered the Lord's alchemy yeah, supplies I did. for him. I'll just Persuade do and um uh and intimidating from Fighters Guild. Yeah, see I haven't learned either of those yet. I've been just working on my skills. Yeah, actually let me look at my skills real quick. We have some stuffies I can use. Why can I not use that scatter shot? 10 meters range. Okay. Oh, guy's on me. Yeah, I'm coming. It's like they go after you because you're so low level. Yep. As soon as I attack one, they like run to you. See ya, Prodigy. So glad you stopped by. Thank you again for the follow. Uh, love to see you around more. And hopefully we'll uh, see you in the game. Yeah, Prentice, you stuck around, man. You are a beast. I appreciate you stopping by. I can't believe how late it is your time. You are an absolute beast. I appreciate it very much. Seriously, thank you. Look at that sun, turn around. Show them the sun. I know, it's so oh, pretty awesome. the lighting. Look at the trees. Awesome! Sneak up on this crab. Poor oh, crab. He turned around right when I was gonna sneak attack him. What a bastard. <laughs> Oh, I have it marked on my thing, Prentice. I'm sorry, I didn't see that part of the question. Um, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays are the days I stream. And for you, it would be... Um, Whatever that is. <laughs> 2 p.m. until I pass out. So, 2 p.m. your time, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. So yeah, love to see you around, Prentice. Again, I appreciate it very much. You are absolutely insane, and I love it. Take you both the bar to be drawn together. The end is nigh. And the door's on the other side. They're going a long way, apparently. You taking off, Charm? Alright, bud. We'll see you around, Charm. I appreciate the follow. Seriously. Thanks for stopping by. It's great meeting you. Hopefully we'll see you around more. Alright, I thought you get that one because he's being a jerk. Yeah, we will, Prentice. Thank you. Justin Prentice Goodbye lets you know. To those Take care, bud. Are leaving? Goodbye, Prentice. Oh, all right, Charm. <laughs> so, 
so you can see some first person action charm oh Jeremy that one ESO mod that we used before it does still work for field of view and stuff and 70 is a really good one yeah, for first person I know person. just not fog yeah it's a shame they're at they have a they're adding in a slider though for that for fog or for field no. of view for field of view even on the console version there Oh, yeah. You're a trooper. I had quite a few earlier that called it because it was getting later. Alright, let's go up. Yeah, I like first person, but it's it's just not as conducive in, in this version because of all the AoEs. You know, you normally have in MMOs. So I was explaining this one earlier, it's much more difficult. You'll get hit by stuff in the back that third person you can normally see. Here, I'll get him just looking around. Get that first hit on him. Witless buffoon. You fell from my plan. Now the estate will be mine. Uh, bookshelf. Oh, bookshelf. Looks cool. But it's hard as heck to <laughs> dodge everything you need to. Alright, book stacks. Just in this one right here had a skill up for me. What did? This this bookshelf wow. right here. Enchanting, nice. Yep. Over two. Did we finish this area? Looks like, yeah, the anchor's full. No. Now we go over here. Yeah. As you get higher and higher, plus when you hit the max levels and you go to the new areas, um, it gets much more difficult. And then of course when you run the dungeons, um, especially if you run them on hard mode because they have a different difficulty levels. Much, and, much harder. And we're running this together, so it's some of the and stuff the raids. easier. Yeah, we're running this together. I've kind of perfected this build. <laughs> I've played it quite a bit perfecting it, so it makes it seem pretty much easier. But yeah, these early levels aren't difficult anyways. I'm only in the second area, so it's going to be easier. Kind of learning the game still. We fight some of these world bosses, you'll see. It gets more difficult. Let's see, do I have any fishing bait? I have one worm. One guts. Let's catch us a fish. Fishing in this upcoming patch you can use for cooking, too. You'll actually skin them. You see yourself skin them, fillet them, and then use it for cooking. Um, Justin, can you give me a quick second? Yeah. Let's step away real quick. I'll be right back, Charm.
Alright, sorry about that. Cool, cool. Oh, hey, Ram. Good to see you. Appreciate you sticking around while I was gone. Um, let's see, I pre-ordered the Imperial Edition on console. Do you think the game is worth it with the monthly subscription? Yes, absolutely. I, uh, I own the Imperial Edition on the PC. If you would have asked me this when it launched on PC, I would maybe say no. <laughs> um, if it had the monthly subscription. I mean, if it doesn't, absolutely. It doesn't really cost you anything other than the game, and you get probably just as much game time than as you would in a single player other scrolls game. Search with how large this game is. So the fact that it's free now, absolutely. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Like I've told everyone on the stream, if you're getting on the Xbox One and you're uh you go Daggerfall Covenant, we'd love to have you guys join us. It's gonna be a lot of fun when it launches. And thanks, Charm. I need to talk to King Emmerich, Justin. Um, I just went into the alchemist shop, and then I'm gonna pick up that way shrine, uh, just to sell. And I'm reading the okay. bookshelves. Okay, oh, yeah, there. I should... I'm gonna dye my stuff real quick. I can show them that, too, at the same time. Oop, racial motif. So you use these so you can craft armors and weapons and things in different styles. So you read this one, you can craft in Argonian style. I think I already know it though. Yep. Rumor is the soldiers of the Redoubt are going to move on to Someone's doing the same thing I am, checking everything. It's good to check every bookshelf, every chest, everything. Here we go. There's skill up in here. My way. In general. Ramp, absolutely. Um, send me a follow on Xbox Live. Um, my gamer tag is just the same as my Twitch name here without the TV. So it's just Ashes to Ashes. And the two is the number two. And then I'll just refollow you. Absolutely. We'll get you in. We'll be, uh, like I said, we'll be Daggerfall Covenant side. There's three different ones you can choose from. Aldemary Dominion, Daggerfall Covenant, and the Evanheart Pact. And you have, and if you have the Imperial Edition like you do, Ramp, you can actually be any of the races um, with any of the factions. Ah, you've come from Pariah Abbey, haven't you? Don't worry about giving me the bad news. I'm already expecting the worst. Really? Happy. I heard rumors of chaos at the Abbey, but I had hoped they weren't true. The Midnight Union's never really been a problem. I mean, sure, they engage in a little smuggling and gambling, but this, it just doesn't make sense. Well, we need to go we straight to the source. The Midnight Union does nothing without the approval of Count Hosni at Tura. I can't imagine him being behind this. So the costume disguise, like when it gets out of your inventory, that will happen in the next patch, right? Yep. Okay. Costumes will that you earn. Disguises, they haven't added to that yet, but they're oh, right. going to. Yeah, but disguises, they are going to add. So right now, you just keep those in the bank. Alright, I'm gonna go there. Oh, nice. Good combo. I'm gonna deconstruct a couple things real quick. A real popular build with a Templar, especially if you're a Wood Elf, is a what they call a bowplar. It's a Templar that uses a bow on one of his uh, skill bars. Really strong. You can do good DPS and self-heal as well. Fail. Let's go die this armor because it looks basic. Let's make it look cooler. Some die stations right here. I forgive my enemies, but I never... This is the saves that I have. Clothing, clothing. I'm just gonna deconstruct some wood stuff real quick. Let's see how this looks. Go on my blue. Where 
pieces of wood. Ah, there it is. Yeah, that looks a lot better than it did. So you can save your Yahoo! color sets too. I actually like this one a lot. Oh, Ramp, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that very much. Thank you. That means a lot. I'm glad you could join us. We'd love to have you in the crew. here in town to pick up Justin yeah there's a lot I wasn't sure what uh, you haven't done any of these no I'll wait by this one right in here okay I'll come to you hello there I'll figure, figure out where it is oh let me just go let's turn in did you already turn into that guy at the pavilion you have to get you have to get farther in the... Oh, I'm going to do that now. Okay. It's this way shrine. Where's that way shrine? Is this pavilion over here, you say? Yeah, right here where I am. Yeah. What do you want? There we go. That can't be. Where's this way shrine down here? The bandit was supposed to be full of excitement and adventure. Hmm. Yeah, I like the digital content. You get the Imperial horse. So the white horse. Um, automatically. So right at the start, you can get a horse that only costs one gold. Normally they're 17,000. Yeah, and you can have multiple 000, ones. Which takes a bit. So you could use a horse as soon as you get to town. It, it's not hard to get one gold at all. Um, and then you get a pet, which is pretty nice. Um, you can change any of your gear to Imperial. So I can craft this into whatever I want, and then just right-click it, and it gives you an option here. Convert to Imperial. So even if you're not an Imperial, you can convert to Imperial armor uh, just with a uh, mouse click. I was following or the wrong click person. Or button click the Xbox. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. I like it uh, a lot. Let them know as well, for other racial ones, you can still unlock them. Yeah, they can hear you. Oh, I need to go in there as well. I, I, sh I showed them the motifs. Oh, okay. I can do it. Nice. Oh, if they can hear me, then I don't need to say tell yep. them. I guess. <laughs> oh yeah. I, wish I could open these up Talk like you could. Like, let me in. I remember breaking into these cases all the time. I didn't even think to check if that's if in the justice system you can open those. I assume you can. Okay, so are we doing this then? The portal. Um, yeah, we can. Okay. Yeah, let's knock it out. I think we'll be oh, in so our own yes. separate ones. Yes. Yeah. Since it scales. Yeah, I might as well knock it out then. Sure, mm -hmm. See how I do? At the level I'm at? Far from here, but I've prepared a portal that Venture with me into the unknown. I will open the portal. This guild master's armor. Or Argonian motif looks pretty cool. Here we go. Yeah, you get uh, treasure maps. As part of the Imperial Edition too. A crap ton of them. So, and what they are is basically just a picture that shows uh, a landscape. So you know the basic area it's in, but it shows a landscape. Um, and then like an X, so you kind of have to know the area and map it out and look for actual visual cues while you're in the game. Just like you would with a real map, it's pretty it's pretty awesome. I don't think I have any of my inventory to show you. If I keep them in the bank, it take up so much space. It's hard to 
simple recipe. See, this one isn't the same. Yeah, this one's different. They're hand drawn like this, but this one actually gives you more detail. It's kind of like this, though. Treasure maps, it's pretty awesome. Dosha was no scholar. And then, yeah, the she treasure that you dig up, you actually have to dig it up. We'll give you random, random gear. A treasure of some kind, a potent weapon, or an epic spell. Dosha respected only one thing: power. Whatever it is, we must get it away from here. Dosha knew of this place, and so others do as well. If we don't retrieve whatever it is, others will come. And it must have something to do with that more tomb Vivicus. If the last days of the Dwemer were endless war, their mages raced to perfect ever more esoteric spells, ever more powerful weapons. Perhaps the origins of the Vivicus stem from that long gone era. Um, I need a new bow. <laughs> I don't know if that's truth or not, Mario. I don't know if that's the case. You you probably do get the bonuses, but at a lesser amount, I would assume. A holdfast of the Dwemer, the dwarves. We're dwarves. somewhere I don't know that for sure. I think near the South Dragon Tail Mountain. Oh, it's something about dual wielding. If you need both the same weapon to get the bonuses from, or if you can have mixed. I don't know it for sure. You know, I know you watch that ESO live. That would be a great question for them because I actually don't know that. Oh, if you can have a single. <laughs> Let me see if it shows it. If, on if there. you can have an axe or a sword, or what? So it doesn't actually talk about. They're like innate abilities, so it doesn't even talk about it in your skills. I don't think it matters. I think you get it no matter what. It's just if you have two of them, then you get double that bonus. Let's see, I'm gonna read it now. Yeah, so, okay, so you can see here. So it's for each axe equipped. So they just stack on each other. See, I like the critical strike chance for dagger when I'm doing dual wielding, so that's... I'm gonna start uh, training those soon so I can craft good ones. So there we go. Learn something new. Knowing is half the battle. So, uh, what was that? The undead are close behind us. Um, it's for each weapon. weapon you have equipped, you get those bonuses, so you can have a mixed match. We will see this done, or all our wow. boss hunters will chew on our bones. Kurano is right. With any luck, the constructs will hold back the dead. Let's move. Some of them, some of them do ramp. Aliens in a Dwemer ruin. What went on here? But yeah, that one did not. It might take me a little longer than you, Jeremy, to get through this, because I am a little lower. But I'm getting through. That's okay. Whoa. Oh, this isn't good. Go check what's oh, I'm dead. <laughs>
Yeah, it's gonna be fun, Ramp. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Especially as a guild together when you go in there as one group, you can have a lot of fun riding on horseback across that big map. For those people that hadn't seen the map yet, I was... Oh, I can't do it here. Darn, but it's a big PvP area. It takes a long time to ride on, even on horseback from one side to the other. Oh, got all the way back here for an empty chest. will have to do it. Oblivion, take <laughs> it. Check. I can't. We can't. Oh, it's funny, I can see you on my mini map. <laughs> but you'll have to enact the sacrifice, my friend. Without a soul in the crystal, there will be no way to repair the weapon. It must be done, Osterland. A sacrifice? What did they come here to do? Let's find out from the journal. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, Angry Joe's a great example of a guy that um, did his review right when it launched, and it had a pretty buggy mess on a lot of the quests and some other things. Um, so I reviewed it pretty harshly, but it hasn't come back to try it again. It's people like that, that sh they need to come back every once in a while. So the, especially with MMOs, they're so big and so many things change. They should check in like every 6 to 12 months, yeah, see what's changed. There's a lot of games that I go back to every now and then just because they changed so drastically, whether due to mods or or the updates yep. that a lot of people haven't gone back to. Amazing. That I feel is sad because there's a lot of good content out there that people are missing out on. Yeah, a lot of people see reviews like his, especially his, because, well, I mean, he's angry, or other people, and get turned off, but think what this place you have to remember that's like right after beta when order. it first launched, and most MMOs don't launch, don't launch smooth. Mm -hmm. They're just such big games, it's hard to catch everything. I mean, it ran pretty darn smooth for launch, um, but there were a lot of... No, it wasn't uh, networking was issues, like a lot of... Uh, MMOs have issues with it was just a lot of the stuff they built in the game or the biggest things was bug quest it was pretty bad but now that they've fixed everything and launching all this new stuff it's so much better giving yourself willingly to the river's curse no Shall we go, comrade? I have no 
clue. I'm fighting mechanical spiders. <laughs> no. Um, so you'll have some solo quest lines, like the like what we're doing now, my brother and I. Uh, the Fighters Guild line, the Mages Guild line, and then of course your main story quest. Um, they will have solo parts. Um, which aren't meant as a group, so no, those you won't be able to do with people. But most of the other stuff now, they've they've kind of fixed it. I mean, as long as you join in the the leaders group, there's still some phasing. But if you guys are relatively close, it's not too bad. And then of course you have the dungeons and the raids that you can do as a group now. But yeah, when it launched at at first, the uh, it was like an MMO that wasn't an MMO because the grouping was was pretty painful sometimes. Which one? And this one, the grouping at first, yeah, with all the phasing. I have so many lock picks now. How many lock picks do I have? Oops. Moment. This may be crucial. My love, Asteroid. If you're going, can I have your moment? I'm checking I urns. Do it now. I'm dying. I can't. Don't die on me, Balasha. I can't do this. You must, my love. Or Molag Ball has won. It's what she wants, Asteroid. This is why we came here. Do it. Yeah, you're actually in the oh. same room I am, Jeremy. I can see you on the mini map. He has to sacrifice her. That's sad. Goodbye, my love. My Valasha. Valasha's Goodbye, my love. Remains. Perhaps oh, we'll shed more light on what's going on here. Another journal. The books you read and go through get saved to a journal, so you can go back and read them later. The water begins it's pretty to awesome. Two cities, one warship's meridian, the other Molag Bal. Abagarlis, the city of the dead, creates a relic to strike at the meridians. Deladil, city of light, creates their own weapon, forged around a heart of crystal. Just so, these ancient ones steal into the heart of the enemy with this crystal weapon. They stop the ritual, and their king ends the dark rule of Abagarlis. But they are hunted, so they try to find a haven place to hide the crystal. You have the right of it. Gotcha. They sought to hide their prize, but the priestess of Meridia first gave her life. She relit the crystal heart so that the weapon could one day be forged anew. Hmm. Yes, comrade. The journals also speak of a tone. Instructions for creating the weapon. The crystal heart of the weapon and the means to construct it lie here somewhere in these rooms. Well, let's go again. There's always something with this quest. Do we actually go back or do we continue? Okay, I guess we do uh, go back. Continue. Nothing else here, is there? Alright, let's head back.
I'm gonna check back here just to make sure. Gotta explore everywhere. Jeremy, you know what we should do when we get out of here? We should do a, uh, a dungeon. Yeah, yeah, we can try that. There is one here in the sewers. I don't know if I'm high enough for it. No. But we could do. Excuse me, sorry guys. And we could do a. Uh, <clears throat> uh, just low, just lower than you one. Yeah, we can do spin up What is this thing? Having issues with my stream. Not loading on my laptop. So you guys aren't having issues, you shouldn't be. Is it telling me to go back in? Yeah, you needed to keep going forward. I uh, found that out by pushing forward. I See, I, I noticed, so that's still bugged, I think. Well, which way they tell you to go for that quest. It's not a big deal, but... We just kept walking. Hide the crystal. Hide the toad. I hope it doesn't make sense. It's better than the old days where you had no guidance things. Now MMOs tell you where to go. <laughs> yeah, see, it's still telling me that I'm wrong. Yeah, just keep going forward and eventually it'll tell you where to go. Just, run. just keep running, just keep running. Collect red crystals, okay. Oh, did you figure it out, Charm? Yeah, helps a lot, man. Makes it neutral faster. How many people are watching right now? A uh, few. Cool, cool. Hello, everybody. Oh, you can't? What's it gotta be snapped or something? I'm gonna pull a few guys over here. sense I guess. Could be a little easier but at least you don't have to use the uh, joystick to type things out anymore. That's a pain in the ass. <laughs> I know how, how not fun that is. Give us more health. Yeah. Yeah, it's much better. So you can see how I'm building my tank. I'm putting all my attribute points into health. Let's 
siphoning strike. Is that 30? Well, you have the, uh... You have the Imperial Edition, right, Ramp? So you could pick, um... Nord and play on the Daggerfall side. If you have the Imperial Edition, you can use any race with any faction. So, you can still be a Nord. Then you can then you can say you're the dragonborn. Good. The dead centurion, a fitting resting place for my heart. So many bookshelves in this room. Thou just have to hide. I remember that. These bookshelves to read. There you go, medium armor. I'll probably never use on this guy. The crystal is in that steam century. We must destroy it. I will, reading books. <laughs> There you go. Dual wielding swords. Have to be on PC. Oh, well, what's the bummer charm? Sorry, I must not be following what uh what you're talking about ramp when you say have to be PC. Or are you saying you want to keep it kind of in character? Fusion, thank you so much for the follow up, Fusion. I appreciate that very much. Thank you. That means a lot. Thanks for joining the crew. Ooh, there's a bookshelf in back here. Come on, skill point. No. <laughs> Yahoo! Oh yeah, no, he was he was a boss. Panda Legend, you too, thank you so much. Look at that, we had two follows in a row. It's like singing Mario's in here. Nice. I'm doing a duet. Mario duet. Wow, well, that would be scary. Well done. Now to leave this place. We've well, succeeded let's get out of here. withered root dosha failed, comrade. Here, I will open a Yeah, Daggerfall Covenant. <laughs> That's what we're playing, Charm. On the Xbox, we'll be the, the underdog. The and the tome. Give <laughs> if it stays Eric, like the PC, we can begin learning what it will take to forge the weapon. That's awesome, Ramp. I never did that. I never did read all the books. They're probably pretty good, at least lore-wise. I'm sure they're pretty good. I have something. I think I'm finishing up, Justin. I yeah, I am too. I think this was the boss. I'll see you down the river, comrade. Maybe. Big Centurion guy. Yeah, outside of that door after the crystals. Please, speak with me. I have only a moment to talk. You're in danger. Danger What's up, ghost? I what do you need? Not even in 
this. Oh, okay, no. Now I'm to the boss. Now I'm to the yep, boss. you can duel maces, you can duel daggers, you can duel swords, you can duel axes, you can mix match them. You can do whatever you want. You can basically build your guy however you want. Someone close to you has plans. Plans for both of us. Plans to now, some builds might not work real well if you're trying to do everything at once, but yeah, you can do whatever you want. Beware, comrade. Interesting. He was betrayed, apparently. No charm. So this is one of the Fighters Guild quests, which the Fighters Guild and the Mages Guild, those are all solo. They're all tuned for solo players that are scaled to you, so... No, we, we were just in our own... Ow. Ow. Everything else can be done together. Welcome back from the depths, comrade. Guildmaster Sees All Colors told me you'd have something for me. Thank you. I do. I'll begin my research I like this guy's away. armor. This is the Red Guard armor. It looks pretty awesome. I know the details. Ow. <laughs> In the meantime, Sees All Colors Ooh, here's a good seems ring. to regret she couldn't stay. She said she had an urgent matter to attend to. Oh, nice, Panda. Yeah, we're all going to be on Xbox. Like I've been telling everyone, if you're going to be Daggerfall Covenant side, we'd love to have you in the group. We'll definitely get you in. So, Charm. Uh, I'll answer your question real quick, Panda, but Charm, you bring up a good point. You can do any of the guilds. So, you can do Mage's Guild and Fighter's Guild, and, and, I'll, and I'll show you guys what that does. So... For points, since I'm going take panda, I'm filling all health because you get the most return on health. You get more per tick that you put into health than you do on magic or stamina. And then I make up for those by enchanting my gear with stamina, which is used for blocking and my weapon attacks. So that's kind of how I balance it out. Magic, I don't do a whole bunch. I just have some rings and jewelry that will help on magicka. I don't use a whole bunch of it. Um, and then in the guilds, when you're doing the mage and fighter's guild, see your skill trees, they actually have their own skill line that you can level up and get skills in as well. Active skills and passives in both of them. So you actually want to do both mages and fighter's guild because you'll get extra stuff. Undaunted is doing dungeons. So you'll unlock these as you do dungeons and get experience in those. Like I said, there, there's so much customization to how you can build your guys. All the different class skills, all the different weapon skills, all the different armor skills. Uh, skills in the world, so soul magic, trapping souls, all the guilds, all the racial skills, and then all your different crafting skills. It's crazy. I'm just checking out the bookshelves right now. So I'm almost done. Um, no way, so it actually looks really good. Um, and the patch that comes out, no worries, Justin. And the patch that comes out next week will actually make the animations look even better than they do in first person. The problem is, um, being an MMO, you have a lot of area effect stuff on the ground, um, especially for heals, stuff like that, that you either can't avoid, can't avoid, or can't uh, get in the heals because you can't see it in first person. You can see some AOEs. Like you, you just have hit. to be. It's just a lot harder. You'll get hit in the back by someone because you won't even know they're there. Especially if I'm trying to sneak around. Like, it makes it much more difficult because I can't see my whole surroundings. Whereas if I'm in third person, I can see a lot better. Like, I can third around this corner here, you know, and tell someone's over there. Whereas in first person, I see this. What was the quick <laughs> switch button? Makes it makes it much more difficult. Like just I don't know what it is in this. The, con the controller will have a quick switch button. But don't fear if you guys like first person, you, you know, even yeah, here's like regular skill. quests, if you know what's out of you or whatever, and you want to just switch for, for a different view for a little bit, it's, you can still do it. It's just, yeah, certain dungeons are So here's the mage skill. Hard. The ultimate you can get from them is meteor. So as you attack and do things, you'll build up this ultimate that you can use. So in the mage's guild, it's meteor. It calls down a meteor. And then you have these different skills, mage light. Helps so you can see invisible people, increases your crit chance. Entropy, which is a attack. Fire rune, equilibrium. You trade health for magicka to get magicka back. 
then uh, mages guilds where you get the persuasive skill so when you're talking to people you can persuade and then of course a bunch of passives that help with mages stuff fighters guilds you learn intimidating so in conversations you can intimidate people and then same kind of thing they have different abilities and then I am a nightblade so I'm going for tank nightblade and my race is imperial Sweet, just got a really nice ring. Quest up here? I'm gonna sell real quick. Is there someone to sell to oh, here? Oh, that's a crafting so. grid. Next quest. Yeah, yeah I you're very welcome, Charm. I'm gonna sell real quick. Oh, here. someone just ran up to me, Justin. Oh, okay. I must right speak out. with you about an urgent matter. Seize all colors requests you make your way ah, to yep. as soon as there possible. Are. She said she hopes to make use of your prize. She said you'd understand what that meant. She and Aelith Thank await you. you at the hall in Shornhelm. Go well on your path. Okay, Not much let me you uh, know. go into the shop Every real quick and just sell a couple things. Real quick. Heard a big crew took down an anchor somewhere in Cyrodiil last week. Messy business. Landed right on top of a skirmish between the Pact and the Dominion. Yeah. I noticed in the... Uh, in the console version, they will let you adjust the field of view with a slide or two. So if you back up the field of view a little bit in first person, it might not be as bad, but it'll still be a little more difficult, um, especially in dungeons when you got so much going on. Wants to be archer and one-handed sword. Honestly, ramp any of them can be anything. Um, like I was telling someone earlier, a good bow one with wood off is Templar. I mean, you wouldn't think it, but Templar people have a real good whip. Uh, Night Blade, if you want to be a little more stealthy, those kind of go hand in hand. Hello there. Um, Dragon Knight is the other one, and then Sorcerer. You'll have Sorcerer archers too, because you can summon pets, so you'll have people, I think Hunters from Warcraft, where they have a bunch of pets out and they also use a bow. You can just build it however you want. I'm gonna shop and just sell some stuff. You find it. Selling all my light and uh, yeah, I'm armor. selling some just white armor. That's good. If you have any good medium pieces, please let me know. Cause I could use some. I have. Yeah, I haven't got anything super good yet. Yeah, I'm a night blade. Which is basically like assassin. And then in the Nightblade line, they have an assassination tree, which is more of your from the shadows, stab them in the back type thing. Like execution style stuff. Real high damage. Shadows, if you're attacking more from the shadows, you know, hidden. And then siphoning is more debuffing and healing. Okay. Jeremy, let me use the restroom, and if you want, we can uh, do a. Dungeon or something. Yeah, yeah, we'll see if we can do that. Right, be right back. Yeah, Ace, I should be getting my Tiger Mount. I'm excited for it. I have enough days saved up that I should get it. So I am excited. The Tiger Mount looks pretty sick. Make sure there's nothing else to sell. You guys want to, um, while my brother's gone, you guys want to see the controller UI? Why not, right? You can kind of see how it looks. So it's it's in the code of the game. They don't have it finalized yet. So you have to use an add-on to actually have it have the game use it. 
but you can see what it looks like. So this is what the controller UI is going to look like. Very Skyrim-ish. Um, it's very much like the Skyrim's game. It's going to take some getting used to. I've, I've been playing the PC since launch, so I'm so used to the UI. But I like it. I mean, they make everything big and bold, so you're playing on a big TV. You won't have an issue. Let's see what's in supplies. Oh, I like how they have it grouped up. That's nice. See, in the, the PC UI, they don't have them grouped like that. I like that a lot. Material, same thing. Raw materials, and then style. That's nice. That'll make it easier. Hey. Wait a minute. Can I put these in stuff and use them? What does Finbeer's Trinket do? So I can't do this. So this is built for controller, and I, I can't do it because they don't have the support for it yet. <laughs> but it's, uh... I should be able to equip that. Hold on. Let me do this the old way. I want to see what that does. I didn't realize you could quick slot these trophies. What does it do? Let's find out. Oh, hold on. Let's let's go more into this UI first before I turn it off. More library. There's a lot of different lore books. Whoops. All right, bro. I'm back. Do uh, player. Sorry about that. Oh well, look, they got the group finder built into here. Um, if I can't get into that, you want to give me lead, and then we can get into a uh, slightly lower one. You should still get. Yeah, we'll do XP spindle clutch. Card. Hmm. See, so there you go. It's pretty cool. I'll show you the skills tab real quick. I'm showing on the controller UI. Oh, okay. So you can see. No, I'm actually Imperial Charm. Uh, I like Imperial for tank just because they get a bonus to health and stamina. And then each one of my attacks has a chance to heal me. Each one of my light attacks. He's a good mini max. So here's this. <laughs> here's the skill lines. Yeah. As you can see, it's definitely different, but it'll, I think it'll work really good with the controller. Okay, let's turn that off now. A lot of this stuff doesn't work when I have that running. So it's just not completely fleshed out yet. Whoa. You stuck in a bubble? <laughs> yeah. Dude, these trophies. So I didn't realize you could use these trophies for things. Wait, you can quick slot them. Where are they? You can quick slot them and they do things. Oh. The trophies you get from, yeah, from Quest. Look at this one. My gosh, that is really cool. I know I have a beat. Look at that, guys. I've been playing yeah, this for a year. Had no idea you, you could do these that? things with the trophies. Oh, that, yeah, that's awesome. Nope. It's a good way. For there was no way to use them. Too. I didn't realize. I didn't realize you had to quick slot them. That if I need to find super you, you funny. Can just be like, look for the blue beam. <laughs> chattering skull. Oh yeah, you can't quick slot the chattering skull. So that must be a different kind of trophy. See, these are the kind of trophies I think are for housing, which they're working on now. Ones you can put in the home. Or maybe decorate on armor. That would be cool. Alright, let's see. What are we working on? Pursuing the shard. Oh, this is the quest I wanted. Did you get the quest from... Oh no, you're not doing it. This takes me to the area I needed to go to. Yeah, it is, I've, this is the one that took me to that area. That's funny. I don't think so, Ace. 
I don't think it's going to allow that since they're on different um, servers. I don't think this is going to be one of those games. I don't. I know it's not all the games that, could, that are going to support it, so I don't think this will be one of them. But I'm running Windows uh, 10 Preview right now because of that. Because I was pretty excited about that ability. Here, Justin, I'll make you lean. Okay. So we can try that. We're going to try to run a dungeon. I don't know if it's going to queue right away for us, though. Um, no, I think these are the longest ones. These are just one-handed swords. Where was the dungeon finder? Um, Panda. Jeremy. Um, hit P, Justin, then click the grouping tools. Oh, the right. right the tools, there magnifying glass. So let's see, Charm says three factions Two, 16, or 19. three races each. Are you limited to those to join the faction? So, yes, Charm, if you have the regular edition, um, the Alda Mary have three races, the Ebonheart have three races, and then the Daggerfall Covenant have three races. If you have the normal edition, you can only choose the race of that faction. So for Daggerfall, I think it's Breton, um, Red Guard, and I forget what the other one is. Khajiit? No, it's not Khajiit. Orc? Maybe Orc? Maybe Orc. Um... But yeah, those are the three. If you have Imperial, you can be any race in any faction. Including Imperial, like I am. Jeremy. Um, now in the Crown Store, real quick, Justin. In the Crown Store, they're actually selling the Imperial upgrade. So even if you have the normal, if you ever want to do that, you can actually do that through the Crown Store. Oh, nice. Hey, real quick question. Um, dungeons? Okay, so I'm in Dungeon, and it's showing everything 10 through 49. Does that mean that everything's scalable up to 49? Yeah, dungeons? all the dungeons are scalable now. Okay, yeah. so did you want to do a dungeon yeah, or all world? What what does world mean? No, Things you want to do an actual dungeon. Okay. Cool. Did you want to do fungal grotto? Yeah, which is great. The flame came very near the um, I would do spindle clutch first. That's our starter one. Okay. Okay. Yeah, charm. That's great because that that would mean you're on the Daggerfall Covenant side, so it wouldn't matter. And ramp. Yeah, if you wanted to level the fastest, people said all the Mary was the best, which is probably why their population is one of the higher ones. Um, but you'll go play through the Alda Mary regardless. So what happens is when you reach end cap um, on your side, so let's say I get to 50 on Daggerfall Covenant and beat the story, you, you actually go to the next game. area, which is Alda Mary Dominion side. Oh, hold on, I need to switch. Wait, um, hold on, Justin. Stop the search, okay. so I can change it. Um, you'll go to the Automary Dominion side. You'll complete that whole story, and then you'll go over to Emin Heart Pact, complete that whole story. So you'll actually get to play through all of it, anyways. And then once you complete all those, you can just travel between all of them as much as you want. Let me know. Yeah, Charm. It's gonna be exactly the same. It's on the same server, so it'll be fine. Um, okay, I did. Tank. No, I'm good. Okay. Oh, now you're good. Yep. Yeah, it'll be exactly the same term. Yeah, they'll have all kinds of different swords. Legend. They all look this look different, different designs, Hello different there. lengths, widths. There's all kinds of weapons in this game. Now we're gonna try a dungeon, so we're waiting, Justin. I'm gonna head towards this quest thing. Okay. I need to. Oh, I wanna. Why is there a way shrine? Travel. On that? Oh, maybe I'm mistaken. Yeah, I'm mistaken. I know there are other quests here, but. I wasn't sure what to get. Oh, there's a quest right over here. I think there's a craft one right by us. I'm just not doing those right now. No, I'm not picking those up. I'll travel to you, I guess. Yahoo! Yeah, I don't know if uh, you will do this one right away. Ace, thank you so much for the follow. That means so much. Thank you, seriously. You guys have been awesome tonight. You guys are up way too late. Keeping me up way too late. Honestly. That's what good games do, though, right? They keep us up so darn late. 
because we're like, okay, one more quest. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do one more quest. <laughs> I'm gonna level up one more time. Just but no, seriously, Ace, yes, you have been awesome. Who well, won't? No, I won't hate it all, Charm. Especially if you're on the if you're in the guild with us. <laughs> I'll love it if you're Emperor. It's nice if, if we have an Emperor on our side because we get buffs. I don't think I have any right now, yeah. Because if you look at the uh hold on. If you look at the campaign I'm in right now. Alright, I can just zoom out. Let's see Cyrodiil. You'll see we lost a lot of our forts. This is a PvP map. Ebonheart Pact, which is red. And then Aldemary Dominion. They've actually made a pretty good push. Normally we own a good amount. Um, but they've kind of pushed this weekend. We'll push it during the week. And then you get buffs. You actually get buffs from PvP here. So I'd love it if you were Emperor. You'd get an Emperor buff. Oh, my pleasure, Panda. That's why I love streaming for you guys. I love to talk to you guys and answer any questions you might have while playing games that I love, so it is no bother at all. Hey Jeremy, is it not showing me any uh, yeah. who's winning or whatever on Cyrodiil map because I haven't been there yet on this guy? No you need to join a, a <gasps> home campaign. Oh, right, right, right. Remember they changed it. So you need to set chill win, 14 days, you're home. Uh, That's the one that Daggerfall Covenant usually does better in. Let me see. I have oh, an invitation. This is a platinum level in non veteran. Oh, the mine's on Blackwater Blade for non veteran. Yeah, than change that. Guests these days. Wait, to what, though? There's one called Chillwind. He's in the manor with his betrothed. Lady Chillrend, 14 day nice standard. Day. There you go, yep. Nights completed. Oh, that's a low. All right, let's get in here and do this quick. Now this inside. isn't non right? wouldn't want you to miss any of the fun. <laughs> That's exactly what it's like, Ram. You know what it's like on these games. It is seriously like that. Just one more. One more. I mean, look at all these skill lines. You're like, all right, one more thing I can level this up. I just want to unlock a bit. I mean, so much stuff. That's what makes these games so good, though. Greetings. Plus, it has the whole social aspect, playing with friends and well, stuff. They're fun. Familiar face. I'm certain I didn't invite you. I know, Charm. I'm Your the same way. Here. And at least I can play it on here, knowing I can. When I copy this guy over, I'm not losing anything. So that's why I'm still enjoying playing on this. Is that so? Hmm. We'll see. Tell you what. I've got a task that Are you doing a solo quest, Jeremy? Like ugly. Take care of it for me. No. And you're it's in. a group one, but I think it's a chain. No. Can I you not get in here, I assume? I don't know that where you are. Uses to hand it over in protest of my involvement with Edema. I've put Hold on, I'll leave it. Let's see. The guest house across the court. See that you succeed. My beloved doesn't like failure and insists that I punish it. My betrothed <laughs> is an unusual woman. She challenges me, drives me to excel. Dude, look at her. She She's like scolding the beggar. And I find I've acquired her stimulating taste for what she's standing. She's got an attitude, man. I wouldn't do for her. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, new stuff. Ooh, there's a patch. Um, hold on, Justin. I'll leave this door and show you where I am. Bye. Crafting certification. Alright, now do you see me? If you travel to me? Yeah, I'll travel. Where, uh, are you still in uh, town or no? No. No, just travel to me. There's a way okay. right by me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. She has a major attitude. I guess red guards are like that too, huh? A lot of attitude. So earlier I was trying to figure out where the quest was to send me here. So if it's black, it's like the other Elder Scrolls games. If it's black like this, that means you haven't completed the area. So I knew there was something that had to lead me there. All these white ones I've completed already. 
See, I see him on okay, the end here. The second area. This is the first one. This is the second. Oh, I think I do need to remove a book. I think I do need to remove a All book. All right, yeah, head to me just up here. Yeah, it's uh, it's a bit dark. It's just a little high. I, yeah, but I'm not going to. No, they won't, Ramp. They definitely won't. That is, that is a hard, set in stone day, I guarantee you. Guarantee. After delaying it a year, and the fact that the big part of that, of that launch is this Champion of Justice system that hits live servers on PC here next week. So they have plenty of time to smooth it out before, uh, before the console release. Oh, you can get in here, Justin. Yeah. Hey. Does this guy have a quest here for you or no? Nope. But at least you can come with me to help. Yeah. So you can even get in here earlier. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Now I guarantee you, Ramp, there will be a day one patch on the Xbox version. Was that quest right outside uh, because of town? No, it was a chain. It starts at the oh. the Abbey and then goes somewhere else, and then you get it from the King, oh, and he sends you here. Did he tell you why he wants it? At least you can help me kill the guys get experience. Of our state. I'll help you when you do it. He has the ring. Yeah, I know, man. Whole year. True, then. Well, hey, you're lighting him up. That yep. looks cool. <laughs> With your fire lives. Hosni only spares me because I've hidden the ring. If he kills me, he'll never find it. But I fear his next step will be to threaten my wife, Sarali. <laughs> yeah, you sound like me, Ramp. I did the same thing. Hosni has separated us. He's put Sorali in the summer house above the beach. Go there. Little over half hour. We'll make sure she's safe. To the west gate. Then just follow the path along the bluff. You'll just have to trust your instincts. All right, I will trust my instincts. Let's check and make sure there's. Nothing worth stealing in here. So once this patch hits next week, Justin, yeah, um, everything we open here will show the red hand next to it. Yeah. So it's going to show a red hand right here, showing we're stealing now. Mm -hmm. So right now, because the uh, justice system isn't in, guys, I can just take whatever I want. If I come in here next week, I'll have to be sneaking and hope I don't get caught, which I think is much better. And for locked doors, we should be able to uh, lo uh, unlock them. Yeah, you can pick locks now and let them lock them. Floor butt. Yeah, dramatic fireplace lighting. It's mood lighting. It's gorgeous. I do wish we could still use that distance fog mod thing, though. Well, I don't care. I'd rather get used to it like this, since that's what it looked like. Alright, let's go down. But I don't have an Xbox One, no. <laughs> you look like you could handle yourself just this. fine. I can, thank you. <laughs> Oops, someone's up here killing things. We we'll kill stuff with them. He's a two-handed guy. Look at him and his mohawk. He looks awesome. It's like Dave's Gold character. purple armor. <laughs> Always has to have a mohawk. Hold on, I'm gonna go check up here. I thought that was a lore book up here. here. I thought there thing. was. I guess it was just that one on that uh, on that other roof. <laughs> exactly, technical bum rush. Sometimes instead of just sneaking, I just like to use this short stealth thing. Just oh, you're not killing him. Oh, stab you are. In the back. I am. But first, I'm getting stuck on a tree. Fun times, fun times.
Wow. It's really depressing in here. Keep out, you supernal brutes. Remember what happened the last time you tried to sneak in? I may be old, but my stiletto is still sharp. <laughs> Thank the eight. I've been so worried that Cosney separated us. And now those supernal dreamers outside are threatening me. Though it could be that Hosni just sent them to intimidate me. I do. And I think that so-called Lady Adima is to blame. I'm certain she's why he's threatening Rihard and me. Um, no. You cannot yet charm. But that is also something they're actively working on. He did that? I believe poisons are in the game in bottles, but you can't actually apply them to anything yet. Oh, Adima's behind it all right. If only we could prove it. If Hosni stole the Dream Shard, he did it for Adima. And if so, he'll never give it to you. I need evidence that Adima oh, is it controlling me, right? Hosni. Proof that her Daedric influence brought the supernal dreamers here. I have a plan. <laughs> like that plan ramp? That would work. There must be some form of communication between her and the supernals. If you can find, say, follow the path... All right, Follow I'll find out this. This woman talks a lot, and my brother's waiting. Did you search through all this stuff, Justin? No, I don't. I don't get all that little stuff. It pulls my bags too fast. I'm not picking it up. See, I don't have auto loot on, so I look, and if it's just food, I don't even bother. Right. But it's good to check. That's why I have so many. Uh... Ooh, venison. There's venison in here. That sounds good. Back to the estate house, yes. Yeah, back to the estate. Oh, someone's uh, saying they'll go DPS. I'll invite them. Okay. Yeah. I think we're just missing a Mind healer. Now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm, apples. Oh, got one guy to our group. We just need a healer and we could go to, to a dungeon, guys. Wait, where did I miss? I'm yeah. Oh, Hello. I was back in here, but apparently not. Well, that's right, it's down by the beach, isn't it? Yes, it is. About to storm. Oh, I just got two responses. From healers or no? Yeah. Oh wait, it's sixteen, right? You have to be sixteen for special? Oh never mind. No, you don't. It's your level of ten. Right? Above 10 or 12? Above 12 is better. Well, no, it's your level. So whatever level you are, that's what level they need to be. 16 or better. Oh, okay. Oh, someone Remember said it level scales, 19. Too. Okay, I got it. I got it. Thank you, group. Dumb healer. Kill you. Okay, cool. Let's do this. Uh, we should go there, yeah? Yeah, we're ready? Alright. You guys get to see a dungeon. It's good in PvP matches? Yeah, it's not bad, Panda. Uh, it's getting much stronger next week with the with the patch. Um, right, guys, what's it scale to? My so level 16, to... Jeremy? Yep. Okay. Go to yeah. Let's go to this one. Are you there already? Yeah, Charlie. There's some cool stuff in this, man. Yeah, I'm heading to the the dungeon now. Justin. Okay. Let me know when you're. You guys get to see some dungeon. Quiet. 
So Charm, you're asking when it gets hard. <laughs> you get to see a dungeon. If everyone has voice chat, which you will on the Xbox, it'll make it a little easier. Um, it'll be a little difficult right now. I'm, I'll tell you when I'm loaded in, Justin, you can travel to me. I just went and followed Zebo. Or traveled to Zebo. I haven't done it yet, so I haven't unlocked the, uh, the door yet. <laughs> if you want, we can do one Apple after tree this. Apple tree defense ramp. This one should be pretty easy with the levels that we have with us. So it shouldn't be too bad. Well, it scales. So right, but it scales it doesn't to matter. Me, right? The leader. <laughs> right. Yeah. So it should be pretty easy. So yeah, to I guess you're right. So season. for us, it won't be as bad. I am too, Panda. If you want to go Daggerfall Covenant, like I said, just add my uh, my gamer tag, and we'll we'll get you in the guild. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I'll be the tanky tank, so anytime anyone needs help, you can call on me. Is there a quest for this right outside? Because I'm not seeing it inside the... <laughs> it's the craziest plan I've ever heard, Ramp. So I've been crafting, or... Er, I've been streaming fine all night, and now the game looks like it's having a hiccup, because I've been on this load screen for quite some time. Okay, there isn't a the quest here. thing right by here. You could. Anyone could be a tank. Anyone could be a healer. Anyone could be DPS. There we go. Whew. That took a while. That scared me. Maybe that's my computer telling me, um, you've been streaming too long. <laughs> you should probably take a break. I'll crack it out. Yeah. Hey look, someone fishing. While oh, they're waiting. I'll be Are right you back. already in there, Justin? Yeah, I'm here. I'll be right back. Okay. I am going in. I'm excited you guys get to see a dungeon. Spindle Clutch. This is the first one you do. It unlocks at level 12, I believe. Might be 10 now. Yeah, Panda, if you can uh, add me, I think it's in the info below. Otherwise, it's just Ashes 2 Ashes. Like my Twitch name without the TV. Um, just follow me, and I'll just follow you back to make sure we stay connected. If you follow me on the stream too, you'll you'll we'll always keep in touch that way, for sure. Wait, who's that? Who's over there? I'll wait to pick up this quest. Yeah, this will be fun. <laughs> Well, until they chop them all down, right, Ramp? Uh, all right, back. All right, they're gonna travel to us. Is that what they said? Yeah. So you can probably already tell from this first room what's inside Spindle Clutch. This dungeon. Very. Spider-ish. They are here? No, that's me. Finn is me. Oh, we're... Okay. It was like you were answering my question. I was like, what? I don't see them. Do a DPS here and we'll be good to go. So the one thing you'll learn 
Uh, yeah, it's just like that, Panda. It's Ashes to Ashes. So one thing you'll learn uh, if you've played any other MMOs, guys, is this isn't your standard, I can stand there as a tank and tank everything. If I try to do that, I will die. So everyone kind of, like I can tank a good around. number of them, but yeah, uh, everyone kind of has to dodge, kind of have to block. They've made it where everyone kind of has to be active. It's not like I can stand in one spot and just take the beating of everything. But having a tank still helps a lot. Yes, having a tank definitely helps alleviate a lot of the stress. I can hold the aggro of like the single bosses and stuff. Pretty easy. I painted trees on the trees. <laughs> okay, okay. I gotcha. Let's change this back to health potions. Actually, let's make it stronger healing potions. I guess that guy's dressed as a tank, Justin. Huh? Does he know he's not a tank? Did the Fighters Guild send you? Um, reach the guild hall? That guy's Evo? dressed as a tank. Is he DPS or is he tank? Oh, um, let me see. If you want to ask him, it doesn't matter to me. I can go DPS, just ask him. You made a terrible mistake. We thought we were clearing out a simple spider infestation. But it's far worse. Wait, is everyone here? I don't want to start. No, we're missing someone. someone. Oh, he's 19, so you would probably be a better tank. Yep, Charm, that's exactly what WoW is now, too. I uh, I got this latest expansion. I, I buy everything. I'm sick in the head. And it's still the same. I mean, you can do looking for groups now and raid, like some of the hardest content, supposedly. Um, and it's just so easy. This, you have to be much more strategic. You have to be on your toes. It's fun. I like it a lot. Indeed. And no tab targeting. You actually have to aim at stuff. Which I like better. Alright, Panda. Sounds good. I appreciate that very much. Yeah, I'll follow you on there, and then when the, the game launches, we'll all be in the guild together. One big happy family. One big happy family. Uh, he's not answering me. We'll just keep the same name I've been using, Insomniac Alliance. For those of us that work and have families but still stay up entirely too late. <laughs> Go to school full time, those people. He's not responding? No. Oh, Elnor is not here yet. That's the person that sent you here. Still missing someone. Oh, Nora. Oh, yeah. Sorry, guys, for this delay. We're just waiting for one more. They had a long load screen like I did. So they're kind of riding over here. Let's see if I can see her moving. Oh, she is still in town. Now she's moving. <laughs> Nothing yet. Um, they have racial passes, but it's not like it's game-breaking. I mean, if you want to min-max to, like, the 1%, because that's honestly all it is, um, then they help a little bit. I mean, I'm, I kind of like to min-max a little bit. That's why I did Imperial for a tank. Yeah, but, he's a min-max king. No, it's, it's not, <laughs> it's, it's not, it's not like it's game-breaking. You can choose, if you like a race that looks cooler, and you want to do something that, you might not think they'd be good at it's. It's fine. It yeah, won't, I'm. It won't break the game of, for you. One of my characters I was playing earlier was. Yeah, what Charm said. That's that's perfectly said. Charm was a vampire. That, vampire. Uh, one of my characters earlier I love. And it's oh, a vampire high elf sorcerer. Send you? you know, and a terrible mistake. I'm not a min maxer, you and I do great. Simple spider and it's just, you know, just play it's what you fire. want. Play See what you want. Class, armor, you know, and just figure out what works best for you. You, you don't need that extra, you know, one percent or use whatever it is. Their eggs. Exactly. Yeah, those are cold shoulders, by the way. We'll just send that. Yeah, thanks, Ramp, for coming by. Thank you for the follow. It was great house. having you. We're You're a beast staying up this late with us. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much. 
Oh, oh who's we need it, dude? Ask him. Ask him if he's tanking. No, it's fine. It doesn't matter. We know. have two tanks. That's even better. Mm -hmm. Up, oh, Zebos grayed out. Why is that? Zebo's not moving. We might want to get another one. Yep, Zebo's still AFK. Okay, let's. Yeah, let's. Uh, let's, let's get someone else. Um, we cleared part of the first room. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and let's do a search. We needed, we needed uh, a healer. Okay, That's who it was. Was a healer? Yeah. Oh, I don't know if I would have kicked him right away. Then I thought it was a DPS guy. But that's okay. So he was a healer, and I survived that. That's funny. Well, what, someone threw down a blood. Uh, uh, I saw that. Yeah, they threw down a funnel. Okay, I'm gonna do another thing in chat real quick. So now we have to find another healer, guys. Um. Okay. Try pulling. Yeah, I'll still pull. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, okay, someone's healing for us. Missing a healer, but we're good. There is a dungeon queue. Uh, that's what we actually use to find people. So there's a dungeon queue, and then you can also talk in a chat. You can do it either way. And it sounds like on the uh, Xbox One version, they will have actual voice chat in the different areas, like proximity. So wherever you're around in a city, you can opt in and out of them, which is good. I don't think I'd want to hear everyone in the city. I'll get the big boss, Justin. Okay. Die. Probably need a more dedicated healer for this part. Try to kill all these little guys you can. Uh, yeah, I'm trying. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Yeah, these guys all over <laughs> oh dear, this is bad. <laughs> Wee! Um, I don't know when, Panda. Hey, I'm dead. Yeah, we need a healer. All right, let's wait for a healer. Um, should I just do it here, or do you think you can get me from there? Yeah, that's awesome. Can you get uh, me? No, just go, do Way Shrine. You, you'll spawn at the oh, beginning, oops. which oops. is fine. Oh, well. No worries. Yeah, the proximity, and then they'll have a separate voice chat for guild 
for party, all that stuff. It's going to be awesome. Then you can opt in and out of it. Was there two healers that had responded before, or no, just one? Let's see if I've seen this. Where was that, where you can see what dungeons you No, have? you can do it either way. Um, I usually use a surname on everything. Star Wars The Old Republic, I used it. Um, a lot of MMOs, I use a surname. But yeah, you can just have a single name. What's that, Justin? I think it's achievements for uh, dungeons. Yeah, I think so. Oh, yeah, to keep track of what you have and haven't done. Yeah, it's journal and then achievements. And then you can see what yep. dungeons you have and haven't done. Yeah, what's nice about the surnames charm is uh, if your name's already taken, then of course you can add a surname on there that you just made up. And there you go, voila, you have the name. I actually like it better that way, giving you the option. Dang it, I wish I didn't kick them. <laughs> no, I don't know a healer. I have a character that can heal. What was his name? Can't you uh, whisper that guy back? Let's see if he's back. Uh, it was Zebos. Yeah, let me see. There was an S at the end? He should be in your chat if he responded. Oh, oops. Tell Zebos. Yeah, so no, you don't need a surname at all. The healer disconnected, and now we're looking for another one. That's all we're waiting on. Yeah, like when the game launched, you couldn't do this. Just pick up a random sword leaning here. Like it was just decoration. Now you can pick up everything. Yeah. E at the end, just add whatever. Hey, why's my... my sneaky not working? My sneak button isn't working. Control? My mouse isn't working. What's going on? It's working. Uh oh. Did it escape and then escape back or something? Your mouse freaked out? Uh, yeah, my keyboard and mouse are not. What the heck is going on here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. How did you get people before? Working. Let's go see if I can go outside and find someone. Our healer DC, now I have to go find another one. Ah, oh, that's a bummer. I was all excited. Actually, let me just. Here, I'll go to. Got a dagger fall hey, can I that. log and we're still fine? Um, no. <laughs> I don't know. Let's go ask a dagger fall. I don't know because I can't use anything, dude. I can't. Spacebar works. Control and my weapons do not work. Hmm. I'm gonna alt tab and then come back in. <laughs> 